Here's your night update here from InfoWeather, and you can see Dorian, and you can definitely see the big slowdown over the past few hours as it has crossed over the Bahamas, over uh, Abacos Island, and now into Grand Bahama. Then it will cut across all of Grand Bahama very slowly. Uh, in the next 24 hours, it will finally exit Grand Bahama. You can see many mandatory evacuations lining the coast. That's just an information statement there. Mandatory evacuation for the whole entire South Carolina coast. We could very most definitely have a Category 4 landfall on the Cape Canaveral area in the next few days. So uh, let's take a look here at uh, our latest watches and warnings. The only change since the previous one is that the Storm Surge Watch and Hurricane Watch have been moved north to the Georgia-Florida border. That's the only change. So relatively simple there. The evacuation orders we just went over. Uh, the university map has been updated to show all of the coastal colleges along Georgia and South Carolina have also been closed for at least one day. The ones in South Carolina are closed until further notice with those evacuation orders being in place. Uh, let's take a look at storm surge. Once again, I'm not sure why this blue line is here. And I'm actually going to delete that right now because I'm not sure why it's here. No updates on storm surge. Actually, the storm surge is probably another yellow line uh, right here. I'll, I'll verify that for you guys here in a hot second. Rainfall, same deal. Uh, worst case winds, also the same deal as the previous advisory here from InfoWeather. Uh, European ensembles, once again, near the coast, ride the coast-ish. Uh, here, uh, American model, once again, ride the coast near it as well. The latest Hurricane Center cone has pushed it much closer to shore than what it has been, especially down here along the Florida coast and along North Carolina as well. And those would be my two predicted landfall points, one down here in North Carolina and one down here in Florida. The Florida one's less likely but becoming increasingly possible. I'll explain that here in a little bit. Rainfall graphic again from the Weather Prediction Center, significant. Uh, you do see the two potential landfall points um, and right here in this uh, purple is a model that I'm going to show you guys here very shortly. And once again, slow decrease, steady decrease in um, wind speeds. Beautiful infrared Im imagery. Once again, here's Abacos Island, uh, which made landfall earlier this afternoon, still within heavy winds of the storm and uh, now going along Grand Bahama. Florida is literally half the, like a centimeter off screen from here. So it, it the, the cloud tops will be over Florida tomorrow morning. Uh, here's the latest uh, recon pass. And you can see the fixes 916, 914, 916. And that's why they put it at 916 for the next advisory. You can see the storm surge pr potential all the way up. And speaking of that storm surge potential, let's go to the public advisory and take a look. Um... Yes, so now they're going Lantana to St. Mary's. So that yellow line that uh, I previously had over here, this yellow line is just simply expanded north to the Georgia-Florida border, uh, as expected. Here's the model I wanted to show you guys, and uh, it's going to go off screen. Or actually, it'll stay all on screen, uh, but you can't necessarily see the whole model. Here's Grand Bahama. I'm going the wrong way, and this initial intensity is about right. And I clicked the wrong button. Uh, it does move a bit further north than projected. And then it comes, makes landfall here in Cape Canaveral. Stays inland for a little bit. And then weakens slightly down to about Cat 1 probably. Uh, and then back out, maintains Cat 1 before once again making landfall here in South Carolina. And then likely would, would make landfall again here in North Carolina. But the main takeaway here, uh, this one's a bit further north. But the, the reason that the chance on the Florida coast has been increasing throughout the day today is because the initial position back here uh, was originally projected to be up here where I have the uh, little crosshairs right now uh, and it's further south. And as I've been mentioning, the farther south it is, the farther north this or the farther wet, the farther south the storm is, the farther west the storm will end up going. That's all we got for now. I'll have another update out tomorrow morning. Uh, around noon 
Eastern Time.